ever since physics enabled at times to convert their two files, their normal physical files, into professional mode, you can now also run ads from your Facebook profile, just as you can do on a Facebook page. Hi everyone, Mary Adana here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a new way to run ads in 2023 using your Facebook profile. So if you have an Instagram account, it's actually the same thing, you know, it was, it was how it was before with Instagram. You can only own and manage a, um, a personal Instagram account, but recently, you know, well, not too recently do, um, you know, it was, it was changed to, you know, um, to people being able to own both a personal Instagram account and a professional Instagram account, right? So you can also now boost posts from your Instagram um, account directly. That is, you can run up from your Instagram account directly. So now the change has also been effected on Facebook. And now you can now boost posts directly from your Facebook account and not from your Facebook page, right? So these are two different things. You can actually still own a Facebook page in, in inside a Facebook account. But now you can now run those adverts that you run from... um. From your normal Facebook page on your um, Facebook profile, all right? So I'm going to be showing you how to do this, all right? But then before you can be able to do this, you have to have, you also have converted your Facebook account into the professional mode. And how do you do this? It's actually very simple. So all you just need to do is to go to your Facebook dashboard, click on your profile name on your account's name, right? So it's going to bring you to um your, your your home page right here so all you just need to do is to click on this three dotted line right here and then click on turn on professional mode so because i already turned this account into um a professional mode is now giving me the option to turn it off right but then this is what you're going to see right so you're going to see turn on professional mode so once it is turned on, you're going to be able to, you know, have your account looking like it usually is on your normal Facebook page, right? So you're going to be able to see inside for your post. You're going to be able to, you know, convert your um your friends into followers. And then if you were following some persons before, this is going to be showing the number of persons you were following before. And then your friends are going to be converted into your followers. And then the button that is going to be on your account, I think, would no longer be the um you know it's no longer give people as um you know the option to add you as a friend but to follow you all right so um if you look at any post you actually make you now have an option to create an ad from it or to boost it so what this can actually do for you is to help you you know increase visibility um to your to your normal facebook account all right so it can also help you get small followers all right so um so um you can see we are having this blue tag here to create ad and some of them is coming with the option to boost posts, all right? So that is how you have it on your Instagram account and also on pages as well, all right? So um, you can see boost post, boost post. And, you know, um, one thing that also happens is that when you just convert your account into the professional mode, you're not going to be seeing, um, you know, you're not going to be seeing insights, all right? You're not going to be seeing insights. The insight is only going to be available for posts that you start to make immediately after you convert your account, all right? So if I click on this, um, if I click on, on one of these posts where they are seeing new insights to show you, you see what they are going to see. Um, let's see. Okay, so insight, insight is unavailable for this post. You can only get insight when you create posts in a professional mode. So that is what it means. So once you start to create those posts, you will start to see the insight. So the insight you're going to be seeing is your impression, your um, your reach, and you, that's the number of people your post have reached, has gotten to and the number of you know times that people have taken action. Now, this insight is also available even if it is not an advert right even if it's just a normal post you get to also see all this insight as well all right so um let's say we want to use this particular post right here to um, run the ad i'm going to be showing you how it, it works it's actually no different from you know if you if you've ever boosted a post on instagram or on a page it's no different from you know how it works and i'm going to be showing i'm going to be running you through in case you don't exactly know how to do this all right and um, if you're watching this video and you don't know how to run facebook ads you um you know you, you you are better off learning it from the scratch how to do it. although because this you know boosting post is not exactly how to run ads all right so there are actually other ways to run ads like from your ads manager 
which is actually the more better way of running ads because it gives you more options, all right? Because when they say boost, boost, what it actually does for you is that it just gives you, you know, it just boosts, just like the name implies, it just boosts the post and then you enable a lot more people to see it. But then with, um, you know, when you use when you use the ads manager, you're able to use different objectives. And what Facebook actually helps you to do when you use different objectives is that it helps to optimize your adverts to that particular objective that you choose. Say, for instance, you choose the lead objective. What it actually does for you using its machine learning and AI is that it helps you to show your adverts to people who have become, who are more likely to become leads, right? Based off on, you know, personal experiences they've had on the platform and all. The same thing with sales. When you optimize your advert for sales, you're likely to get people on the platform who have bought something in the past and who are likely to buy from you, all right? So, when you boost a post, it's just what it is. It is what it is, really. So it just gets people to, you know, see more of your post and hopefully get to take, you know, action, like maybe click on the ad and maybe click on your website. But really, I don't like to use the boost post um, objective, except in some rare situations. But hey, if you want to actually boost your post, like you just want people to see your content and maybe this is actually good for getting visibility to your brand right and maybe getting followers you know because on instagram when you boost posts on instagram you actually have the option to get people to you know get um you know um click through to your profile and then you know get to scroll through your content and have the option of following you so that is actually good for instagram building instagram following and also this one is also good for you know um boosting your 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 profile following as well all right so um so if you want to learn how to run ads the proper way i actually have a course on facebook ads right it's called sell out with facebook ads for people who are like you know looking to sell out their products their coach um their coaching um you know their coaching programs and what have you with facebook ads right whether you you're into digital marketing or you sell physical products you know with that course you would learn three strategies to actually help you you know scale your 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 business in the online space using um run um you know paid advertising on feed on the facebook platform all right so i'm going to be leaving the link to that course in the description of this video and i'm also going to be leaving a link to my whatsapp um you know my whatsapp dm so that if in case you have questions concerning this or anything we're going to be discussing here you can actually come to ask me all right so um now let me show you how to do this so let's say for instance if i want to use this particular post to do this so i'm just going to click on boost a post and let's see what happens so it says set audience to public to boost this post change its audience setting to public so that anyone can see it then refresh the page Okay, so we have to now set because um now this account is actually not mine, it's for it's for a client. So um on my own account, my own settings has already been set in such a way that my post is public. So everybody gets to see my post. But since this is not so let's change it. So I'll just click on this in case yours is like that. So just click on the on the three dotted line you're seeing and then click on edit audience. All right. So has has been um limited to just have friends on Facebook, but then I'm going to change it to public because to be able to run ads with this proof um with this post we, we, um you know we have to change it to public all right so um I'll just come here and then I'll go back to okay so it's already been saved so I'll just um go back again and then I'll click on boost post so you see that see now that okay let's see what is it seeing here you don't have any post try creating a new Add by okay. Let me see. I'll click on create ad. All right, so I click on create ad, and then it takes us to the ad interface where we are now going to be boosting the post. So here it says, What results would you like from this ad? All right, so it says, Um, you know, like it has a default, you know, goal where it says, Let Facebook select the most relevant goal based on your settings, but we can actually change it to um what we want so let me see the different options that we have so we can decide to um say we want the ad to give us more calls so we want to um facebook is going to help us show our adverts people who are likely to call or contact our number or we want to get more website visitors we want to grow our customer base uh, maybe we want to use a form and all that so let me see i want to use this um um option right here to get more customers or more website visitors so i'm just going to click on it and then i'll click on save so this is going to require us to you know um get a what's a, a website url all right 
So now we've, we've changed our goal, right? So now it says, how do you want your ad to appear? Okay, let me see. I want to use a post. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so I think that it actually did not, it didn't use, it didn't use that post. It didn't use the post I said se I selected. But I'd like to actually use that particular post. So let me get back to it. So uh, there was actually a time when I was able to use this particular profile to create an ad. So I'm wondering why it is different now. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go to a post that we can actually create an ad on. Okay. So let's see if I'll be able to do for this one. <clears throat> okay, great. So we are able to use this particular post right here to create the ad, right? So I'm just going to change the objective again to get more website visitors. Then I'll click on save. And then here, advantage plus creative. It says leverage Facebook's data to automatically deliver different ad creative variations to people when likely to improve performance. So let's see what this is all about. I know this has to do with the um the creative we are using. Let's see. It says your creative inputs and set of placement selections determine which variations we automatically create. Okay, I think later on you can actually explore this to see what it exactly means. But I do know that it has to do with you know your creative like the um the the picture and the image and all that all right so now right here it says um we are going to have to now select the button that we want um you know people to see when they see our ad do we want them to let's see the different options we have we have the learn more we have shop now we have sign up and we have call now so for this type of ad which is a website ad we are better off with the learn more all right so we are better off with the learn more so now we need to enter the website url that we want people to you know we want to send people to when the um where they click when they click on our ad so i'm just going to use an example url so i'll say um let me see seller.co okay so let's say seller.co and then um let's see okay so after doing that it says adding a button may crop your image. Just ignore that. Then special category ads or special ad category. Just ignore this as well. Then here is where you get to set your audience. So it says choose who says choose people you choose through targeting. So these are the people that are going to see our ad. So we are going to now click on this edit button right here too. You know we can now <clears throat> sorry we can now edit the our audience here. All right, so we can choose to, you know, increase or reduce. Okay, so let's say, for instance, we want to show our ads to people within the age of 22 to, um, let's say, 45 or, yeah, or 51, right? Then you, um, here in the location targeting, we'll now select the location we want our ad back to be on. So let's say we want to use the entire Nigeria, right? So we get to, you know, select Nigeria. All right, so let me just type Nigeria. Okay, so Nigeria anyways. All right, so um, details are getting is where you get to select the interest of, you, you know, the kind of interest or the people, you know, who are going to see your ad based on their interest. So this interest are going to be, of course, related to your products, right? So um, let's say I want to use all of this, so all of these ones that have been suggested for me. So I'm just going to enter them one after the other. All right, so... um. So all of these suggestions are actually based on the adverts that have run before on the back end of these accounts through the ads manager. So if you even check it, you would see that they are actually suggesting some audiences from that I've saved before. And those were the ones that I created and saved from the ads manager of the account that is connected to this Facebook profile. All right. So when I'm done, I now have the option to save the audience, but I don't want to do that. So let's say, for instance, I want to select one of these um, audience that I've saved before. So I'll just click on it and let's see what happens next. So um, so that is that about that, about the audience. Then the duration of the ad, you can, okay, so let's say we want to set our ad to seven days. We want this ad to run for seven days, right? 
we want the artist to run for seven days and then we are going to now select the end date for the ad then here where it says budget all right so this is where you're now going to send um um set how much you want to spend per day so it says reset your that is per day for the next seven days right so it says reset your account spending limit just ignore this right ignore this and um let's see So we get to set our ad to okay. Let me see. So we can now change this to let me see um one thousand naira per day, right? So one thousand naira per day. Okay. So let's see. Let's see the summary of our payment. Your ad will run for seven days. Total budget is one thousand two hundred. Okay. So estimated bat and blah blah blah. Okay, so let's see. Let's increase and see. So I'm thinking what really happens is that um we are spending 800 naira per day, right? So 800 naira per day times seven days. I think that is what is giving us. I'm not I'm not really setting do because I'm not very familiar with how this one works, like how this boost post because i i really run boosted post campaigns right so the placement is going to be on instagram and facebook if you want if you want to do just facebook we can just untick instagram right then when we are done we can now click on okay so we now need to add funds right so we need to now you um, cannot click here to add your funds so it's going to ask you the your payments options you can you're not going to add the payment option and also you get to set the payment option thankfully this is in era right so usually i would pay with i'll use pay you all right so i'll use pay you 